Hi, uh, I'm Michael Skrinski, the founder and CEO of Nosby, and I decided to quickly record this uh, video to explain how we build Nosby, how we build our application, and um, what's important, what we take under consideration, how often we ship each version of our application, so that uh, you know how it works behind the scenes. What goes into a Nosby, into our application, into every new version of Nosby? So first of all, there is a vision for the product, this strategic vision, what we want to have in Nosby in, all, in order for people you know, to, to use it and to get everything done with Nosby. So there's the vision and a strategy. So this is what we have. So for example, with the vision in Nosby, we want you to really get things done as fast as possible. That's why, for example, over eight years, with Nosby, we never introduced sub-projects. You can only have projects, you can group projects by labels, or in projects you can have tasks, and within tasks you have uh, checklists, if you want, as a comment. Or you can group tasks with categories. And we think it's the best way to manage our tasks. Over the eight years, we've uh, not been proven wrong otherwise, and uh, we've had really lots of successful customers, and we are using it ourselves. And we just know that the fl a flat structure like this, when you have just projects and you don't have sub-projects, 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 you don't have a, 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 a you know, complex structure, helps you get things done faster. This is why uh, we do it like this. And there are several other things that we have in our vision for the product and strategy going forward uh, for the years to come. So actually, I think uh, after eight years of running Nosby, I think we're just getting started. So second thing we take under consideration, of course, are the feature requests. So feature requests, they come from um, uh, you, from our customers, from our users, and we get them via yeah, email, Twitter, Facebook, you know, from all the channels. Uh, I get them personally on my email. So we get them from all these sources and we put them in a project in Nosby called Future, future Requests. And over there, we put the feature requests and we also vote on them in the team. We uh, comment on them. We add additional comments from other users, other customers, to each feature request as they come along. So after that, we uh, have a good idea what people want and what people don't want. You know, some features are really good for just a small fraction of people. Um, other features are really great for everyone or for most of the people. And in Nosby, we have to choose what's best for most of people uh, and what's, you know, uh, what makes sense, uh, again, according to our vision and according to what really people want. Third thing, there are issues and um, issues, you know, bugs, problems with the software, you know, all these things. And um, we also identify them, or we have a separate project for that. So now, uh, as you know, Nosby is a very complex piece of software now. You know, when I founded Nosby back in 2007, it was just a web application for a desktop computer. Now uh, we have So apart from supporting the major uh, browsers, we also have apps for Windows, Mac, and Linux. We also have apps for iPad and iPhone, and Android tablets and smartphones. And we also have the application for the Apple Watch. So the thing is that when you have a product like this, um, the challenge is to really re release it very quickly, frequently, to make sure that you, the customer, the user, that you are happy, that you get the newest features, newest things, that, that, uh, that, you know, that the issues get worked out, that the features requests get in, and that the vision is maintained. So how do we do that? With Nosby, we have a very nice release cycle. Uh, we work on each new version of Nosby for weeks. And then we release a release candidate and we post it on the test.nosby.com blog. And then once we have tested it, also with other customers, with, the, with our most active users, thank you everyone who's testing, and um, we uh, iron out the, 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 the issues, we check if everything is work, work, working correctly, and then we release the new version of Nosby. This is our release cycle. And with this release cycle, 
you actually get a new uh, version of Nosby every four or five weeks and uh, you get them through auto update or, or, or update or download uh, to your device. And uh, if you're on the web, you always work on the newest version as well. So uh, we have found out that we had to play a little bit with the version numbers uh, because we've been on many different version numbers, but now we unified them across all the platforms. So um, if you are on version 2.1.8, you should be on this version on all the platforms that you use. And uh, actually we are changing the version numbers so to make sure that the major releases, so every you know, uh, uh, monthly release will have a dot number. So the next version will be 2.2, then 2.3, 2.4, and just like that. If there is a version called 2.5.1, it means it was an emergency release. So something that, for example, a, a, a problem that we haven't identified or, or we, haven't, we have overlooked, so we have to release a quick version, a quick fix. Uh, but the major uh, release cycle will be 2 point something and 3 point something and so on and so on. So this is how it works. And now, what goes into each version of Nosby? This is the question because many of our customers and users have been asking this, our customer support, how, I mean, what, what do you decide what goes in? And we have identified actually five major forces that, um, that play out in, in the uh, in the grand scheme, uh, you know, that play out when we decide on a new version of Nosby. First um, force is the is a long term pro uh, project. For example, we might have a long term project right right now. For example, API. We are working on a new API that will help us, you know, get connected with other um, services. Or, uh, you know, we've been working on this for quite a while now, but we have to work on it. Every every month, so to make sure that you know we 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 advance and we use it and we're ready to release it at some point. So for example, so the long term API is one of the forces. Then the second force actually is the um, marketing. Actually, create a marketing message for this new release what would be the exciting new thing in this new release. So this is what marketing wants. Now, um, customer support. We want to make sure that in every release, there is something that you really want, that you really need, that you really are uh, you know, <laughs> asking for for a long time and we should have done it earlier, so we should do it in this release version. So to make sure that the customer support is happy, they will have less support requests because they know that this new feature is coming. And there's the fourth force, design uh, or UI, however you want to call it. So in every new issue, we want to do something better, something prettier, something nicer. We want to polish something. We want to make sure that, you know, this, there's something that work, just works better. Just, it looks nicer, you know, a window, a, a, a button, I don't know, a, things, a process, something that just doesn't work right, but uh, we know uh, we could have done a better job there. And we just, you know, we're frustrated that it looks like this, it should look better, it should work better. And this might not be the fanciest thing. Uh, this might be refactoring of some code inside uh, or, or, you know, rewriting some features, some functions, some, something you, you might not even notice um, in the new um, release of Nosby. But it's something that our uh, developers want to make sure that it's there because it will help them in the future to create a better product. So they want to make sure that they have, they have the time to actually work on these features, work on, on, on all these things that are not really visible to the user, but are really important for the performance. I mean, just like, like the, our last two releases were focused on performance for Android. And uh, actually you could feel them. So if you were on, a, on a, an older Android device, you could feel the difference, the speed. And they were really demanding and we really had to work a lot on them. And these are things like that that we want to make sure that in each release, we work on something like that to make sure that our code is good and we can keep on uh, developing our application. So as you can see, in the new version of Nosby, these five forces so come together. We decide what goes into next version of Nosby, asking, okay, what do we have to do here, 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 here? We get to make everybody happy and make each release of Nosby exciting and make it a, a, and we make it a regular 
uh, iteration. So just to move things forward and make sure that you get the best application to get things done. So that was it. Um, if you have any questions about it, you know, let me know in the comments below. This is how we approach NASPI. This is how we approach making you know, a multi-platform productivity tool for you to get things done. And really, our mission is to help you really get everything done. Not to only manage your tasks or plan your tasks, no, to get your tasks done.